Hello everyone and welcome. In this tutorial I will show you how to install WordPress on your local host step by step. So our first step is to download ZAMP and for that go to their official website. I will put a link down in the description. And go to download and I will download it for Windows. Click on it and it, it should start automatically but if it doesn't you can uh, click here. So Besides that, we want to download our WordPress. So for that, go to their website. Uh, you can see I have it here, so I will not download it twice. And click on Get WordPress and click Download, which I also already have done. Okay, so go to your files and now we want to install our XAMPP, so just double click on it. Yes. Okay, it says that we should avoid installing on C program files. Okay, we will do that. Click next. You can leave it as it is. Click next. And now this is okay. So click next. Uh, you can choose your language. There are only two languages. <laughs> and next. And click finish. This is our XAMPP control panel and now we want to start Apache and MySQL. For that click on start. If everything is alright you should see running here and we can start our MySQL. Click on start. If you have any problems with MySQL maybe you need to change your port. So for that click on config and first one. Scroll down a bit and you can change it here. Okay. Let's open our admin. You should see links link like this, our PHP my admin. Here we will create our database. Click on databases and here we will create our new database. I will call it my WordPress and here change to general C. Okay, make it like this and click on create. Now it's possible that you will have this error, so I will show you how to uh, remove it. Click on privileges and you will see this error. So by that we can just click copy to remove it. Okay. Now click on my SQL. Okay. Scroll down and click on check all. Here we want to click on repair table. Okay. Let's go back to privileges. And you can see this error is removed. Go back to your dashboard and let's go to our databases. Click on WordPress and go to privileges. Here we want to add a new user so click on add user account and you can add your name and your password. Okay I will make this week password. Okay Okay, I will just leave it as it is. We can grant all privileges and here you can check all. Okay. Now click on go. Our user is created for our WordPress database. Just you need to remember your password, of course. Next step is uh, go to our con control panel and click here on admin. So now we want to see our WordPress here. So for that, go back to your panel and uh, click on Explorer. Here is our XAMPP installed and we need to uh, put our WordPress in uh, this file. Here you can delete everything. And if you refresh here, you will see there's nothing. Okay, go where you downloaded your WordPress and copy and paste it in this htdocs file. You can paste it and we want to unzip it here. I will just extract. If you extracted it, you can 
copy everything copy and let's go back here we will paste it our uh, wordpress files are here now we can remove uh, this and our zip file okay if you refresh it still nothing <coughs> what we need to do now is rename this file to just config without sample and double click on it open it in notepad or something else and here we want to put our database information so my database name was wordpress my, my username was code how my password was one two three four five <coughs> okay you can click save and what we want to do is delete this dashboard let's go to localhost and here is our wordpress installation now it's all the same like you will do on some web hosting click on english or whatever language you want we cite title username some password i will st uh, st still use this week one some email okay and click on install click on login enter your username and your password click on login and here it is your wordpress installed on localhost please subscribe and like for more show me your support by liking and thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial